In today's video, guys, we're going to be unboxing this £100 Pokemon subscription box. Let's check it out. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. So, first comment to shout out, of course, and that was the Pokemon. Thank you so much, buddy, uh, for the comment. And again, thanks to all of you that watched, commented, liked, subscribed, and especially to all you guys that got involved in last month's subscriber giveaway. The response was incredible. I think we gained, like nearly 300 subscribers from that video alone it was insane because of course we gave away a darkness of blaze booster box to one of my subscribers last month and yes we do those every single month this month's giveaway will be a vivid voltage that's coming later this month so make sure if you want to get involved in that and you want to help this channel grow and you like pokemon openings and uh, all the giveaway events and the charity giveaway events that we do then it would be amazing if you did hit that subscribe button and help us get to that goal of 3,000 before the end of the year. It would be very much appreciated and I'd love to have you along for the journey. So yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be unboxing this £100 sealed Pokemon subscription box. And by sealed, I mean it comes with sealed Pokemon products, so collection boxes, tins, uh, booster packs, that sort of stuff. And uh, I've been getting these for about four months now and I... I don't think I've ever been disappointed. I actually think they're incredible. And I'm super excited to get into this one because this box is my November one, meaning that the Champion's Path like new collection boxes were just released, I think, before this was made. So there's a chance I could have Champion's Path. I know, I hope I haven't jinxed it. Now, I picked these up from Griffin's Gaming's, guys. And you can go and pick up one just like this yourself or one of his 75 or £50 ones. They are absolutely fantastic. And if you go and use the code on screen here, guys, or I've also chucked it in the description, you can get 10% off your first order of one of these subscription boxes. And I don't know, they're fantastic. It's such a good way to budget, to be honest, and collect on a budget. You set out how much you want to spend a month for Pokemon, and then you get a nice little surprise of what turns up. And especially if new sets are released, he kind of holds stuff back just to put in collection boxes so you don't miss out on missing it if you can't afford to pre-order it and all that sort of stuff. So it, honestly, it's been fantastic. I love it. it. It's great. So yeah, definitely go and check it out. Right, I guess we should find out what we get inside that. So let's rip into it. Okay, guys, let's open it now out with a trusty knife. This thing is getting absolutely battered now. I really should invest in like some sort of nice fancy looking thing but this is great they're like a quid and you get them from stationery shops they're great right so we're gonna oh put it and um yeah I, I i'm calling that there's champions path in this guys i really am you know because i think it's still a set that i do not own either of the v or the v max charizards in and of course we are desperate to to get that hang on a minute hang a bit look at that called it right Let's uh, let's start pulling these out and uh, oh yes, he told me about something he was going to throw in this because uh, it's something new coming to his website and he wanted to show it off. So I'm actually going to show you this first and we'll have a proper look at this stuff in a minute. These are PSA 3D printed wall hangers. So this is if you have a PSA card, you can hang it on the wall. We'll have a proper look when we get the other camera out as well. We have a Darkness Ablaze booster pack that he's chucked in there. We will open that actually in this video. All of these little bits like that, we're going to open them. Oh, sick, actually, that is awesome. So this is one of the Galarian mini tins, and if I'm right, this has probably got an Evolutions booster pack in it, which means chances to pull that rare Charizard or the reverse rare, that'd be awesome. Evolutions, by the way, at the minute, guys, it's crazy. They're going for like 10 pound a booster pack, and I swear to God, people were sick of them a while ago, and now the price has gone absolutely mental on them, and uh, I think it's all down to not people not being able to pull base set. But it's nuts, isn't it? So uh, yeah, that could be wicked. That's mad that there's a pack in it, probably worth more than what the tin's worth. Then uh, we have, oh, we have ourselves a, um, what do you call it, a collection tin. Uh, which one's this? The Zakian collection tin. That's gonna be awesome. We'll probably save that one for a live stream opening or something. Oh my God, there's a ton of stuff. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my God, okay, I'm getting excited. So here we go, we've got ourselves a Pokeball as well. Sorry, I get, I get distracted into what's going on in the box already. But yes, we have a Pokeball in here, guys, as well. Um, not gonna lie, these normally have the worst pulls in the world. And uh, also the booster packs are normally battered. Like when you open these, they are so crumpled up. It's such a strange design for them to do that and not have any protection there. But we will open that at some point on the channel. Probably not today, that will save it for another one. Then guys, we've got, oh, 
a PSA 3D printed card stand. Again, these are going to be up for sale, he told me, on his website coming soon. What we'll do is when we flip the camera around, I'll get a couple of PSAs and put it in it just so you can get an idea, have a little flavor of what they'll look like in their stand. So that is wicked. I will definitely be making use of that, especially when I get, uh, well, you guys will have to wait. There's a video coming because I'm now a part owner of a £200,000 Pokemon card collection, yes. And we're gonna be getting a ton of it graded. That video is coming on Wednesday, uh, actually to kind of announce the collection and how it came about. Anyway, back to this box. We have Champion's Path, guys, Bush. There we go. This is one I haven't opened. I don't own those badges either. That is awesome. Uh, Stow on side. I love the color contrast of the purple and orange. That looks actually sick. I kind of like, I picked color contrast for my channel and I'm definitely a big fan of purple, but it goes really well with orange, right? So that is awesome. And he's also chucked in another one, guys. Uh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. We've got the Chichester one in there now with the blue and the gold. They did something really, really right with Champion's Path. I think all of the Champion's Path products have such a nice design. The cards are beautiful. That V Charizard is insanely good. So we've already got what? Oh, there's five booster packs in those, guys. That is wicked. Awesome. Then we have one more item in here, and this is something a little bit older, actually. This is awesome. We have the Alona Raichu Surfs Up. Alona Raichu's ready to battle. That is cool. What booster packs we got in here? We got Roaring Skies. Burning Shadows, awesome. And the other one is slightly hidden. But it might be Crimson Invasion. I'm not sure. I, it's got the green top on it. I can't actually remember. Is it Crimson Invasion? I'm not sure. Don't know if I'll actually ever open that, if I'm honest, guys. Because these type of collection boxes are normally absolutely shocking for pull ratios. And it's quite a nice design. And it's in really good condition, actually. Especially in the cellophane uh, across the front and stuff. Uh, there's a little bit of dust build up from the box, but that's probably quite a good one to keep on the shelf. Wouldn't you agree? All right, let's have a little closer look at some of the stuff that came out of this box, guys, and then open up a couple of booster packs. Let's do it. Okay, guys, here we go. This is what we're going to unbox in the rest of this video. But firstly, let's have a little look at these. I've chucked some PSAs in it. I know, flexing, right? Chucking some Charles Eyes. Not the greatest uh, graded one, but it's still really nice to have. Um, very much a fan of this one. I know, weirdly, with the Evolution stuff... Um, this Charizard is definitely not the most sought after one. It's more the rare or the reverse rare. And I'm interested to know, why do you think Evolutions has gone so nuts in a minute? Go and check your comments down below. But this is a wall hanging one. As you can see, it fits in there. It doesn't seem to fall out the front. It's obviously got loose on the top, but you stick a little hook in there. I don't, I, I haven't got the best camera for this, but yeah, that is actually really cool. That's a great design if you want to show some off. And then you have this stand, which actually looks fantastic. So I've put my card in there. Look how unobtrusive that that stand is and obviously that just uh sits there wait let's put it up boom, boom. nice so that is awesome fantastic right let's crack into these let's go darkness of blaze first and then we'll see what's in this galarian tin and uh yeah i hope you enjoy let's hope some good pulls so uh you are welcome to the code card guys if you get anything good off of this code card or any of the others do make sure to go and join up on my discord the memberships are going fantastic it's a great place to be and you can go and show off what you managed to pull uh, off that code card and i think there's actually a ton going spare like all the time in there so come and get involved torchic starling skarmory pansang hidden energy oh get in houndoom v what a sick color design that is in the background guys that is awesome um what uh great fantastic one oh my god the pools are awesome uh, hopefully we get some amazing pulls that is coming as well. I'm doing a little shorts opening with a Darkness of Blaze booster box right now. And uh, I'll see that up at the end. And uh, yeah, we've managed to get some really good pulls out of it so far. But we're only like five packs in. So uh, hopefully uh, we get some even better pulls coming up. And oh, that came apart nice and easy. Wicked. Right, guys, do we think... Now, I'm pretty certain this has evolutions. I'm going to be like... I'm putting a sound like a fool now and there's not going to be one in there, is there? Is there going to be any evolutions? Boink! Called it! There you go. Right, so we've got a sword and shield. Eh, not a massive fan. And then we have the Evolutions with the Raichu artwork on it. Literally right now, you could go and sell that for like, I think even 11. The price just keeps going up. It's nuts. Then we've got the little coin. We've got the Piplup. Nice little coin. I still really don't know what to do with them when I have them, if I'm honest. And there we go. Galarian Ponytail. Very nice. Right. 
We're gonna call this one Last Pack Magic, guys, on that one and go for the Sword and Shield first. And it'd be funny if I slate this and we get like a gold card or something out of uh, Sword and Shield. That would be funny. So one, two, three, four. And uh, let's go. See if we can get anything out of this one. Poker Kid and Search Team Yelgrunt, Grookey, Q Fun, Baltoy, Jin Chow, Sizzlepeed, Metal Saucer, and nothing. <laughs> Ramper. Would you guys be interested in seeing me get a bunch of these uh, tins actually and open them up uh, on the channel at some point? Because it's it's definitely it's definitely an option is to get hold of some of these. But let's go. Last pack magic guys. Evolutions and uh, I've got to remember the code card slightly different and uh, it wasn't actually. It's that right way around. I hate when they do it the wrong way. Three to the front. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Come on. Pokedex Haunter. People do love that it's obviously the artwork is probably part of it. But I don't know, people used to much because these are in all like every collection box you get, you seem to get some. And uh, and people seem to win. Okay, we got a revert we got one of the secret rares. We've got the Oh my god. That can I don't know if that's coming across, but there is a print line running right down the side of that card as well. But we've got the water energy secret rare and the last card, non-holographic electrode. So out of that we just got the secret rare water energy, which is nice. Adds to my collection. Fantastic. Right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that opening. Be prepared for the next video coming up on the channel, guys. That's where I announce how I came to own and be a part owner of a £200,000 Pokemon card collection. You are not going to miss it because everything as well is going to be going up the sale. It's going to be nuts. Please make sure to check it out. So do hit that subscribe button up above. While you wait, go and check out some of my videos up there. And uh, stay safe, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.